Okay, here we go, part two of the wiring harness. I'll kind of bring you up to speed. What you'll need is strippers <clears throat> to strip the wire. There we go. You'll need a lighter. To heat the uh, heat shrink, the wires are stripped. You can see the, that's all done. Now on the other side, and uh, you'll need obviously solder and a little bit of soldering paste when hurt. And here's uh, different types of heat shrink. So make sure you slide this stuff over. So I got the heat shrink slid over this black stuff here and then different colors for just doing the wires individually. Okay, so uh, let's get out of here. Let's see if I can set this camera up, which is perfect. Bar. Oops. Okay, I think we're good. So, we'll ignite this guy. See when it lights up red, you know it's going. I'm sure you guys can see that. So it's nice and hot. A little paste on everything. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Okay, paste is on. You're going to want to heat those wires first. So, start with the white wire. Just like so. This can be a pain because you got to... You have to have multiple things kind of stay in place. And when you only have, let's say, two hands doesn't quite I'm not sure if this is even in the camera but hopefully you guys can see it and basically I'll show you guys how to do one um, I don't think I'll have the patience to do camera work plus soldering plus but basically you're melting a big blob and then what you want to do is get that melted with the other wires there we go Okay, so it's kind of together there. Hopefully you guys can see it. And now I'm going to solder the other side of it. Get a little bit of melt on there. Melt it up. Come on. Stay. These kits are about 200 bucks. These soldering kits. The real good ones. I mean, I would just get the real good ones because. Oh, these weren't 200. How much were they? About one, 140, 150. They solder so nice. Oh, bugger. Let's 
you can see it's a wee bit of a pain to try to get this stuff to connect. Basically, if you have patience, you can do this, but if you don't have patience, then this can be not so much fun. Because you'll have that happen where you think you have it, and then you, the solder falls through, and... So that's a pretty good solder job right there. Do a little pull. Well, make sure it's not, not yeah. Do a little pull. See, that's not going to, that's solid. That's solid. You're not going to break that loose. Now, this is where the heat shrink, you got to make sure you slide that on first. Um, now I'm going to take the heat shrink, put it over the exposed wire. I turn my gun down. Okay. So, you just take where the wire was exposed, and then you're just going to go like this. And that's what you call heat shrink. That's it. See now it's nice. Got a nice wire, a nice connection. Some people use others there I use other things too. I'll show you guys what else you can use. People use crimpers as well. This is the easy way to do it. This is the proper way to do it. Like, that's gonna stay good forever. Um, but if you wanna do crimper style, you pick the color code, you stick the wire inside, and this one you can see has already been crimped right there. But how it would work is you would stick this in here stick your yellow wire oh, almost knocked the camera over stick the yellow wire in there and then you'd stick look for your color code these are blue so you use the blue one and then you would crimp it down and that would lock the wire in um, these do work don't get me wrong I've used them a lot um, but definitely soldering is a cleaner job rather than these these can twist off too and you have to redo them but it's for quick and easy. This is definitely really quick, really fast, and it can be done right away. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish these off. I'm not gonna bother videoing that because it's kind of pointless. But I'm just gonna match 
brown to brown, green to green, the yellow to yellow. Then I'm gonna slide this big black one, this big black heat shrink over everything and shrink it and then it's gonna look like factory basically by the time it's all done. So that's uh, trailer wiring project right there. Oh, 10 minutes too. It's a long one. Well, if you guys are uh, still watching this, thanks for watching as always. And uh, we will see you on that next video. Cheers.